I always say to the children that you can say, what can we do in two different ways? You can either say, what can we do? Or you can say, what can The idea of the What Can We Do project is exactly that, that it turns children into can-do people. Welcome to Broadford Primary School. We are going to take you on a journey throughout this project. The first thing that happens in the What Can We Do project is that the children are taken around their local area and they um, identify various things that they would like to change. <laughs> We started our project by making a PowerPoint presentation about what we wanted to change inside and outside our school. We chose four different things. The two inside school was our floor games had faded away and we didn't have enough shaded area to eat the packed lunches in the summer. In our local park there was too much litter and not enough bins were being used. Our main one that we actually chose for the project was the road safety. <laughs> The next thing that happens um, is that the children have to put together a PowerPoint presentation that illustrates the different issues that they have identified. They present that to a variety of different power partners who are key people from different organisations. From that moment onwards, the children have to work with Twist Partnership, with their, the member of staff in the school, the project leader, and with the power partner to complete a social enterprise that addresses the particular issue that they've chosen. This is X Marks of Sport! The X is where the lollipop lady used to stay in for our school. We chose road safety for our project because our lollipop lady resigned a couple of months before. People didn't realise that this, that this road was dangerous to cross without a lollipop lady. <laughs> The project leaders can be teaching members of staff but tend to be non-teaching members of staff and also tend to be very skilled at allowing the children to take responsibility for their own learning and to work independently. My role in the project is a project leader so although I'm encouraging the children to take a very active role and it's got to be their work, I'm overseeing the project and helping and guiding in any way I can. I've been helping them with computer work, obviously typing up their notes, phoning people for them. They've interviewed people from the local authority, um, from the Havering Road Safety Team, and obviously I've arranged those interviews. Mr Ray Crane came to see us um, because we wondered why we didn't have a lollipop lady. And he told us that there are 63 sites in Haven, so only 43 are manned by lollipop staff. And we sent Ray Crane emails saying thank you for coming to visit us, and he also sent some back. Thank you for your email. It was a pleasure meeting with you all on the sec Monday the 2nd of July, and I thank you most sincerely for making me so welcome, which people do not always do when they know that you work for the council. <laughs> I'm Ray Crane, I'm the road safety manager for the London Borough of Havering. And first of all meeting Mr Ray Crane, we started off a bit nervous and then after we was talking to him asking about how, why we didn't have a lollipop lady, we got to know him a bit more and he was nice and didn't get so nervous and we were just talking to him and he was telling us more and more stuff about why the roads were dangerous and there was a shortage of lollipop people. They came to me and said that they hadn't got a school cross patrol and put me, gave me quite a grilling actually, and uh, which I think you know is excellent. The kind of learning that generally takes place is that they go outside their normal sphere of experience. They see things that they wouldn't ordinarily see. They go to places, to businesses that they wouldn't ordinarily see. And they have to sit down at meetings with adults and discuss adult topics. This is the infant's poster. It has more pictures so that they will understand it better. <laughs> And this is the junior road safety poster with the Green Cross code. We put the poster space outside so when the nursery parents come in, they come down their way for their children there so they can see the poster. 
they thought that some should be inside school so that the children could see them and some should be facing outside of school so that parents can see them too and they've been active in making the posters in class and in school and then physically going around and putting them up everywhere. <laughs> Our banner. Our banner's from a power partner, Ken Wilson. The banner's on our gate to make drivers be aware when children are crossing the road. As a power partner, really what I'm there for is just to encourage um, the children in, in what they're trying to do. And um, so, you know, it may be just a few emails, it, it may be um, just giving them a few words of advice, maybe people that they may like to try and contact. Um, and then really it's up to them, and in, in this case Angie, to sort of uh, make it all work. The children felt that if they contacted their power partner, he would be able to perhaps sponsor them for a banner outside their school because they felt they'd targeted both parents and children, but not necessarily drivers in Farringdon Avenue. So they felt they wanted to do something about that. I've been involved um, with this project for, I think this is the third year, and um, each, one, each group has been different in actually what they're trying to achieve. But um, th this group of uh, young people have been very focused in the area that they, they wanted to look at. You know, been very focused about road safety and actually doing something for their own school. The Power Partner works with the school in any way really that they find interesting. Sometimes they're able to help in ways that are quite explicit. Occasionally they might provide funding for bits and pieces that, that might be needed in the project. Um, sometimes they might have quite an obvious skill that they can lend to the project. We designed a t-shirt for our play. Our slogan is don't be a donut, be safe. And they were all brainstorming ideas, but Mariah came up with the idea of don't be a donut. And then they all started getting involved and thought, yes, we could have a donut on the top of a lollipop stick. And actually one of the children's posters, Jack, has um, done somebody being run over and instead of blood coming out it's jam. <laughs> it makes me very proud to be a junior road safety officer. Ray Crane put us in touch with Elaine Price and she really oversees the junior road safety officer scheme within the borough. We was talking to her about we wanted to make the road safer and next week she came back and we, she gave us all junior road safety officer pack. <laughs> This is a really lovely thing for you to do and you've worked so hard. Remember to talk nice and loudly because I'm right at the back of the hall here. Good morning, welcome to our road safety assembly. This is Jazz. This is Jenny. This is Josh. This is Lauren. This is Jack. And this is Mariah. And we have been doing a project in conjunction with the Twist Partnership and our project leader, Mrs Brown. We decided that we're not going to be... What can we do? We're going to be... What can we do? The children thought it would be a really good idea to have an assembly within the school to make parents and carers more aware of the Green Cross Code and how, safe, how to cross the road safely. So good luck with the assembly. I'm sure it'll look good. All right? Good luck. I've got my fingers crossed for you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Walsh. Welcome to our very special assembly, which has a very important message. They have been passionate about this project. I think that they felt that it was a really good opportunity for them to actually make their views known. We haven't had a lollipop like the outside of our school since last Christmas. And we think it's dangerous for children to cross Farrington Avenue without any help. I think that they were very good in using sort of their, their skills of persuasive argument to actually present their case, and they knew that it was a very strong case. Their confidence has grown from the time that they actually started presenting that because they've had uh, so much more experience in terms of having to articulate their views more clearly to people outside of our school community. So far we have had a meeting with Mr A. Cray, the road safety manager of Hagrin, and he told us that there are 63 sites but only 43 are manned by lollipop staff. And we need your help! When I first saw them they did a presentation um, to a group of power partners where the power partners chose which uh, school they wanted to work with. And um, 
they're all a bit nervous, as you can understand, but I think what this project does is it actually gives them the confidence to actually um, say, say and do things that maybe they wouldn't have thought of before. It is our aim to make parent, carers and children more responsible when crossing the road. So this is what shouldn't happen. The assembly that the children put on, um, I thought, was, was put on very, very well. I'm very, very proud of the children because everything that they did in the assembly this morning was children-led. That, that was all their own ideas this morning and they were just guided and supported by staff. One morning, Jack was walking to school with his mum. This is when things start to go wrong for Jack. Jack, come back, there's a car there. Jack! <laughs> Captain safe here. Jack, don't be a donut, be safe. Fortunately for Jack, Captain Safe was there to rescue him, but for us, Captain Safe isn't there for be aware when crossing the road. I had a dream that I was um, becoming a warrior and then we like made up a character called Captain Safe. Josh came up with the name and then um, they like all decided it was me because I came I made up with it came up with the dream. First find a safe place to cross, then stop. Stand on the pavement, but not too close to the edge of the curb. I think the project has really empowered the children. Look straight across the road, don't run. At the beginning stages, I know, they were a bit reluctant, they you know, were worried about giving PowerPoint presentation, things that they'd never done before. But actually now they just want to do everything and it's been a really wonderful experience for me to see them grow in that way. If anyone is interested in becoming a lollipop person, please contact Mr Ray Crane, Road Safety Manager of Havering. Now we have become junior road safety officers. If you're unsure about crossing the road, please come and see us or Mrs Brown. It's been really a, a, a lovely experience for me to have contact outside of school and I think it's made my confidence, like the children's, I think my confidence has grown. I've, we've all really been put out of our comfort zones, um, me, myself included, I think our power partner and, you know, I think it's been a really good experience for us all. Don't be I Don't be safe! What this project is actually about is about leadership. So as long as they have undertaken various different things that help to build confidence and to make, make the young people, everybody involved in it, feel empowered, then that's really all that matters. Well, it looks as though it's going to go ahead. I've spoken to the engineers this morning and they said that we're just waiting for one man, the councillor, and it looks as though he's going to support us, to sign a piece of paper to say go ahead and the work on the zebra crossing right outside the school gates will start and will go ahead. So before Christmas you could also have a brand new zebra crossing outside the school. And a lot of that is down to you and your persistence, all down to your hard work. We realise now that it's not only the children who really benefit from the project and it's not even just the members of staff who are leading the project. Everybody becomes really inspired by the children's enthusiasm and by their, their drive. Don't be a donut, be safe.